Hi, ladies and gents, I'm back. As you know, I don't come as often as I would like to, but I promise that I will be making more videos. So, I wanted to follow up on the wig that I did a um, video about a couple of days ago. I uploaded, I think I uploaded yesterday or the day before. But anyway, it is none other than um, the wig that I was talking about by uh, Magic Lace. It doesn't have an actual name. She has a number, and that number is MLC156. It is a uh, lace front wig um, that's got this beautiful bob, you know, this astrometrical, astrometrical um, cut. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, you know, I like to get uh, wigs that I, can, that I would consider as alopecia wig friendly for women who cannot pull out hair. Uh, to camouflage wigs. So what I like about this wig so far is the lace. The lace um, is not shiny. And um, I've already put the concealer in her in the part area. I use this concealer that I use for my eyes, which is Dream Mousse Concealer in um, the color 01 Dark. You can't find these in the stores anymore. They're quick selling them. They are discontinued items. The only way that you can find this um, concealer is on um, Amazon.com, and I will leave the link below if you are a, a um, if you used to use this and can't find it anymore. I absolutely love this concealer. The only place you can find this again is on Amazon.com, and I will leave the link in the description box below. Now, I haven't cut it yet. I'm getting ready to cut her, and I will be back. Um, in just a moment, the color that I got her in is uh, number four, I believe, because this is the only color they had. They had. They don't have mixed colors. They have four, one B, one solid colors. Not any mixed colors as of yet. Um, at least I can't find any anyway. I got this in my local beauty, local beauty and beauty, beauty and what I'm trying to say, beauty supply store. And um, they didn't have any mixed colors. Um, I haven't. I'm gonna go on on the website and see because the, the particular website that I was looking for her did not have them in mixed colors either. But I'm gonna look around some more if I, if I can find some that has this um, style in different colors or in mixed colors, lighter colors. I will also include that in the description box below. Um, let's see here. Now, when I put my um, when I put the concealer in the parting, I use you know the little makeup brush. It's like really skinny and pointed arrow, um, kind of like a slant shape. I put it in here, and then what I did is I took um, a makeup remover um, tissue or not tissue wipe, and I kind of pushed it in a little bit, blended it so it wouldn't be so. Um, obvious so it has a very natural scalp look as you can see very natural color so again I'm going to take her uh, I'm going to cut her and I'll be right back and I can take and let you let you see what she looks like on be right back okay guys I'm back I've got her cut uh, hopefully I did a good job cutting her cutting her um, because I had my grandbaby scissors because I couldn't find my wig scissors so um, I'm going to put on now it's a little lint that's on here I don't know where this come from here but I'll get it off later but anyway if this takes my oh and you guys know I don't use wig caps because I'm, I don't have any hair up under here well I do but I don't See the big old ball spot. I'm trying to let it grow out. Ooh. Yeah, I know I have alopecia, but ooh, this itches. I don't know. Ooh. Because this is this is never gonna grow. And then all these random ball spots there forever ever be there. So I have alopecia areata and scarring alopecia. Don't think about it. If I was to let my hair grow out, I would eventually uh my scalp would become agitated. Uh, and it'll start, you know, I'll start getting sores and it'll be tender to touch. So, I don't know. Right now, I'm just kind of experimenting 
I don't know how long I'm going to let this grow because it's just, it's, now that I have decided to shave the rest of my hair off, growing hair is not, it's not comfortable, number one, for me because I have, uh, because I have scar and alopecia. And number two, I've just gotten used to not having hair um, growing out my scalp. But anyway, let me just go on to the wig here. Okay, I'm going to go and put it on. <sighs> and of course, it has adjustable um, straps. There is a comb in the front for those who have hair. One comb in the very front of the wig and one comb in the back which I don't use them. As a matter of fact, I actually take some, um, I, I actually pluck them out and I don't wear combs in my units. But I'm going to put it on now. As you can see. And I'm looking away from the camera because I'm looking into my mirror here. I got some loose hair from my other wigs. I'm going to take it all out on my brush here. In trash. Okay. When I say I love this cut, it looks so freaking real. Woo. It reminds me, and this is not hair from the wig. This is just hair from the previous wig that I've had I had on, and I just can't stand it in my way right now. I'm just trying. I should have did this before I got on the camera, but okay. So now. I mean, it's nothing to do. It's really a flop and go cutie. Now, as far as having to pull out any hair, it's not necessary for those who have hair. If you want to pull it out, that's fine. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, there's no need to glue it down unless you really want to. Because the hair is going to cover it anyway. Unless you're in a windy area, then it might fly, floop up a little bit. It might, you know, wind might blow up, blow back a little bit. I don't know. But and you can just kind of put it down if you want to glue it down. But I'm not going to glue it down. I don't really wear my units down. So you can adjust it. You can wear it. And I got a little piece of hair only because I cut it, I think, too close to the lace which now I can put it here I can you know put it over this way push it back a little bit it was cute let's just see the back I'm not sure how well you can see the back because I'm recording from my laptop Turn it back. I want to wear it back. Yeah, I think I want to, I'm pulling it back just a little bit. This is so cute. This is so cute. I'm telling you, this cat, my webcam does on my laptop does not do this baby no justice. It really doesn't. It does it no justice whatsoever. Or I can see if I want a few more over here. Let's see. I'm just playing with it now. So I can put it. I can kind of turn it. Yeah, I can kind of turn it this way. And I love the way I did this camouflage in this um, the scalp. Look at it. Doesn't it look real? Realistic. It really does. Look at it. It's beautiful. Now, you know. Let's see here.
And this is the, I, I moved the part over a little bit here. It's a little bit closer to the middle. It's not in the middle, but it's closer to the middle. So you can wear, you can kind of, you know, adjust the part as you, as you see fit. But personally, I want mine more like this. This is my preference. This is how I want it for me. So yeah, I'm loving it. All I want to do is find it in a lighter color. Um, four is okay. It doesn't have as much of a pop as I would like it to be. So guys, rate, comment, let me know how you think about her. Because I am definitely feeling her. The texture of this wig is that of a yakky feel. It's not too straight. It's definitely not shiny at all. So yeah, this really mimics human hair. It's not like your usual, your, you know, usual synthetic fibers. Or maybe it is. I don't know. The quality of these fibers is nice. Um, give me one quick second. You know, I hate doing this. I hate seeing when people do videos and they run away from the camera and come back. I'm going to get the, the, I'm going to go see if I can find the, um, you know, never mind. I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and list the other details about the wig such as if it's um um heat uh i think i think actually you can use a a a um mine went blank i think you can use a flat iron on this and um and like i said i would tell you if it's for tour fibers or cackline or whatever it is i will put all the details in the description box below if you like this let me know tell me how you feel about it because i am Doing it. Ooh, ooh, mm. It's a nice summer do. And it is alopecia friendly. I give it two thumbs up for those who do not have hair and cannot take it out. You will love this baby. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, please rate, comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would appreciate your subscriptions. Bye-bye. And this has always been my what? Truth. Bye-bye.